Here are three craft stocks tips you didn't know about, or maybe I just didn't know about them. Have you ever thought about the fact that I probably just don't know what I'm talking about half the time? Or that you can use ChatGPT within craft? And it's public, unlike with Notion AI. Just saying. Although it is a little bit more limited from a token perspective. Getting things started, let's write an example video script on three tips for using craft docs slash assistant. All right, ask me anything or choose an option below. So that's interesting. So it can pick out what you got going on or you can say, what are, or write me a YouTube video outline for three tips to using craft docs. Now I will say this does point out the fact that it's ChatGPT because craft it's not that old of a document or of a software. So you see, it didn't even pick up on what craft docs is. Hmm. But you can essentially insert it into the document and work with it just like you would in anything else. So if I did slash AI assist, see, I only have 49 requests remaining. I could select a bunch of these blocks and the answer is no, you cannot click on it and then like do the AI assist. You have to essentially go within the page itself that it's in and do AI assist if this were to be, for example, slash page, drag these guys into the page or control X. Now, if I wrote AI, you see that you can create an outline, explain this to me, write pros and cons, or have it do a bunch of these different prompts. I gotta say though, it is a little bit worse than Notion AI. It doesn't allow you to like select things quite as easily. And the props seem to be a little bit different and I'm not essentially sure why they have limits associated to it but you can use it. Now, another secret tip that you can do is actually share documents with others as QR codes. So, so for example, if you were to share this with somebody else, it is a completely reasonable option that I could download this PNG, go to WhatsApp, for example, or Slack, and text this photo to myself. Or if I were to open it up on my phone and scan it like this, the answer is yes, I would be able to see the doc shared that quickly using QR codes. And I can switch between light mode and dark mode when I'm viewing it in this public view. Now, the last thing you didn't know is that you can actually hold and grab onto multiple different blocks while you're in the Windows app. And you could right click now. This is a recurring joke. I love the fact that you could right click somewhere and it works within craft. You still can only right click and do open a new window everywhere else. But I had to give it some credit. Just like hopefully you'll give me some credit for this video on how to improve your productivity even more.